Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. Enjoy Nightingale. And today we've landed right here in Spring Green, Wisconsin. Standing behind us is a spot called The House on the Rock. Some people say this is the world's greatest roadside attraction. We have never been here, surprisingly. Now you might be saying, House on the Rock. What is that? Well, you see, in 1945, a man named Alex Jordan decided to build himself a house. We're in the land of Frank Lloyd Wright. We passed about five or six things he designed coming out. But this was another man going to be an architect, and he built a house. You're like, so Joe, greatest roadside attraction? It's just a house tour? Oh, it's so much more. This house is filled with magic, with whimsy, nooks, crannies that you're not going to believe, the collections, what we're going to find inside this thing. And the way to find is go inside. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you're ready. We're about to go inside. But before we do, if you could just like this video, it would be greatly appreciated. We're always on adventures and oddities and kitsch. We're A-OK. -okay. That's why this fits right in. A lot of kitsch in this, I feel. And if you like those type of things, you should subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that already. We have over 500 videos up now all around the country. And ring the notification bell so you know we're on more of these adventures. We're on them a lot. Mm -hmm. You want to, don't want to miss out. Comment down below, what is your favorite roadside attraction? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting a second. Did, did you do it? Okay, you did it? Good, good. All right, it's time to do this. Step right up, let's go for this ride. Just in the front entrance, one of the biggest model ships. I think one person actually could sit on that and float down a river. Before we entered, I figured, let's go to the bathroom before we get started, look at this. We have a giant ship and planes in the bathroom. I mean, in front of the bathroom, carved elephant tusks, ships. The women's restroom is filled with dolls. We got 30 tokens. There's things we can use these for. And enjoy, got the tickets and a map. Look how big this spot is. Let's show the people how big this is. This isn't an attraction you could rush through. Make sure you dedicate all day to this spot. I realized something. With 30 tokens in my pocket, I'm gonna be rattling all day long. Yeah. Figure this man, Alex Jordan, built his house in the for started in the 40s. By 1960, so many people were curious, he actually opened it up to the public. They've been doing tours here since 1960s. As you can see, there's lots of cool collections. What I like is a lot of the collections, like he has carousel collections and other stuff. Some he collected, some were actually built here. Ooh, like these I'm sure he collected. Miniature ship carved like tons of dragons. You can see the dragons in the sails. Joy loves carousels. Of course, she's gonna walk around and take photos of all the carousels. We've left the visitor's part and we are making our way into the gatehouse. Have some low ceilings. Not always geared for 12 people. Well, it's not that. It's what I love about how zany it is. We see bookshelves, you're able to like see through nooks and crannies to different levels, to sit in different areas. We see lots of stacked stone. I would take a live in a spot like this. Already a band playing itself. Cello, violins, drums, pianos, horns. It doesn't get much more magical than this. You can see the architectural inspiration to a lot of stuff. The way the rocks used, the angles of the table, the use of design. So he's making way from the dining room to the kitchen. Mind you, we haven't even made it to the main house yet. Do you imagine Joy waking up, making your breakfast, your morning tea? 
this being your view. Where's that kid? Get off my lawn. Well, that, was, that was me if it was my view. Okay. I love being happy. God of happiness. Rope is good for good luck. Am I supposed to clockwise or counterclockwise? <laughs> I'm doing both to get as much luck as I can. <laughs> From the gatehouse, we follow this covered pathway up to the main house as we overlook some more of the gardens. I'm gonna tell the good people at home a secret to live by. What? Always remember, don't go chasing waterfalls. Making our way into the original, the main house. Being in these, around the rock walls, it's almost like it had natural air conditioning. Or it could be the air conditioning. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna see when you turn the corners. Stained glass windows, rock walls built in, almost like the illusion that this, I mean, it's built into the rock, but using the rocks to make it feel like the rock is actually really part of the house. Nice little sitting room. Massive fireplace. Everything feels very natural. I like the juxtaposition. You see we have like this rocks, the way they're layered and jutting out. But on the other wall, we have the glass pieces sort of doing the same effect. Instead of being used as windows, jutting out and creating the wall. And here's one of the rooms that a lot of people come to for. The infinity room. It looks like the room goes on and on forever, like a long hallway, but it's an illusion. It's actually getting thinner and thinner and thinner. How does it feel like the world's going to infinity and beyond? It feels interesting, but what also is interesting is that we are bouncing. You definitely feel the bounce. It is crazy that it does look like this is going to continue, but that literally is a point. And understand, <laughs> the point where we're at is literally suspended very high above the trees. It's a single structure sticking out. This is one of the architectural wonders of it. And when I mean we could see down, oh, we could see down. More image playing themselves. Tucked in a hidden spot, almost like it's a framed photograph. Joy, what do you think? It's pretty cool. Every nook and cranny filled of wonder. Do you want a dragon stained glass dining room table? Sure, why not? The path's curved. It's almost like a maze. I mean, you can only go one way. But I thought when we were down there that this we came in, but it's definitely not. This display really is excellent. Sure. And mind you, everyone should come, but it's not handicapped accessible. Good use of natural light, creating the space. Yep, De <laughs> definitely have roof rooftop access. In the infinity room, it looked like it went on forever. Here we can see how it actually peaks to a point at the pinnacle. Remember we bought the tokens at the start? You're putting the token, you hear the 1921 AB Chase piano playing. I could get used to looking like this. I know you 
can get used to living like that. I wish I knew if all these stained glasses were made for the house, or did he just travel collecting stained glass? Because that's what I think it was. So that was just one part of the whole tour. It is a self-guided tour. It's broken up into three spots. That was like the original main house. The next, and you might say from that architecture, that was pretty zany, that was pretty wild. That was pretty zany, that was pretty wild. But it's gonna get so much better. I can't wait to share this with you. Look at that. Hear the music through the walls? First part of the second section, we enter into the mill house. As you can see by the big spinning wheel here for the mill. Ought to be some big water wheel. Chas Phillips Millers and Grinders since 1867. I wonder what we have ahead of us now. We've got the James Bond Grand Music Box. This is nearer my God to be the hymn. Put it right here. Are you losing your marbles looking at this house? If you are, it's okay. I found them. I'm gonna name this pistol the Flabberbusters. <coughs> if I was shooting film today, I'd be shooting with the cannon, but not like this. Joy, catch me, I might faint. Mechanical banks. I got like six. My collection's lacking. We do have this guy, and this guy though, and this guy. Okay, maybe my collection's not lacking too much. Now just picture, you put the penny in that little thing Joan is holding, he feed it to the whale. A magician would put his hat down, make a penny disappear. You know, the pineapple person is a little bit nightmare fuel, though. You, you, you such a doll. So are they. I didn't even notice. All those dolls and toys were actually looking at Paragon Toy Company, wholesale and retail. I've known about House of the Rock for about many years now. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I would get books of roadside travel spots. And I've been collecting for years. One day, I will have my streets of yesterday. This is the thing I am the most looking forward to. Trust me, there are things gonna be more exciting than this, but this, this is what I look forward to. I was mistaken. I thought a few cases ago the case was excellent. No, this one, Certificate of Authenticity, the Fabergé Egg Collection. <laughs> Gonna feed the dying drunkard. See, see the skeleton pops up next to him? He's waking up. Another skeleton jumps out of the clock. It's the devil. The devil's coming to get him. I saw this crushed penny machine and I got excited. I go into grab cores and it's like, no, you have to use the tokens for this too. My penny's in the slot. And it's crushing. It's crushing. Crushed penny of the infinity room. There it is, the streets of yesterday. 
it feels like we are outside with the trees and fronts to buildings. We could peek into people's windows. And you're allowed to do it here. You're allowed to peek into people's houses. Brick streets, pathways, every corner filled with something to look at. The magician. Oh, the dice. It was a two, it was a two, I saw it. Now it's a ball. Now it's a white ball. Now nothing's there. Now it's a, now it's now it's back to a two. Oh no! He's a pretty bad magician. He's giving away all of his secrets. Fire! Fire! Fire station number one. Shh! Be quiet. We gotta sleep in Dalmatian. Don't you like how each little section's set up like its own thing? We're at the fire stations. So we have some fire trucks. Firefighter memorabilia. Toys and games. We got some more dolls. Some in frames. Almost like it should be like a puppet show, but they are just the dolls. Do we have like a, a hands on Gretel? Is that the witch going, get in the oven, little girl? Or is it just a mom teaching her child how to bake? Jay Reeves Baths and Barbershop. We have the barbershop pole. Oh. Oh, schnazzy. Can I get a shave and a haircut? Two bits. The sheriff, the head of the renowned bandit, Joaquin, will be exhibited for one day only and also the hand of Three Finger Jack. And we look in the sheriff's office and we actually do see the head and three fingers Jack's hand. Someone left the head for the sheriff with a note. I wish three finger Jack's hand in the jar only had, had five fingers. People would be like, why did it have five fingers? And they go, he has three fingers on the other hand. Lots of quack medicine in the apothecary. $18 giant power electric belt. Give you those abs you always wanted. I found my solution. I don't need to go bald. Hair and its growth. I just put this helmet on and then I pump it up and I'll get my hair back. Joy's trying to look at some of the labels on some of the glass bottles because we collect glass bottles and we're like, ooh, we need to get some of those. We can't see all of them. If only there was a way someone could lend us an eye. You get it, it's a joke. Those are glass eyes. Is it funny yet? Oh look, apothecary. <laughs> and that's what makes it so cool. That all the little hidden like things, almost like the Easter eggs, like the head, weird stuff placed in. Like I said it was not just a spot to store collections. It almost is like a piece of art that you're walking through. This feels like it could be the first Meow Wolf. Immersive art exhibits that we're literally experiencing. We cure you of all desire for tobacco. Easy solution. You just need some opium. We have a wood carver. It reminds me of Geppetto's workshop. All the little hand carved wood toys. In fact, this is perfect. We can make it, we can make it exact. I want to be a real boy. This display, well, it's fine. Fine china. Oh, tucked away in the corner. The miser. British Rail Station, 1870. You can see where the old coin slot used to be. This 
skeletons coming out, meeting the miser. Go away, evil skeleton. What did you do that you have skeletons in your closet? Sultan and the Necromancer. And if you didn't get your tokens as soon as you walked in, it's okay. Throughout the exhibit, there are some uh, vending machines, like coin change machines that give you some tokens. And this just isn't one level. Like, here we have Phelps Brothers' horseless carriage. A carriage that doesn't even have a horse? What a crazy concept. What do these kids think up next? But you actually could look upstairs and there is full second floors to these buildings. It's a good thing the fire station's down the road because there's a lot of wood chairs near the fireplace in case of emergency. Oh, the blacksmith. We have a church and swings and... Are those the dwarfs working the mine? Got my token for the blacksmith. Carriage is running. You can see the, the iron ores and the gems and minerals going up and down. So you saw a lot of those little displays that we put tokens in, but we're gonna see a big one. Colossus Gigantic Calliope Gladiator. playing it, all the music. I am blown away. That made just coming here at the end of the streets yesterday worthwhile. And it only gets bigger, it only gets better. Miss Esmeralda, will you tell me my fortune? She's reading my cards. Esmeralda's prophecies. Ideals are like a shining star, which most of us worship from afar. If you could but accomplish these things, which you set your heart to do a few years ago, how happy you would be. Circumstances after all cases, if you could always have what you want, there would be no satisfaction in your striving for the future. You can attain your ideals by being patient, persevering, but persistent. It is a long road which has no turn, and if you will but work with your ideals as a blazing star in the sky to lure you upward and onward, you will accomplish all that you set out to do. One of your lucky numbers is six. Ooh, good. Actually, it was a really good fortune. It reminds me and enjoy trying to make this YouTube channel a dream come true. We always love when you people watch, come along on this adventure, to help do it. We struggle, we battle but we stick to our mission. Continue to the heritage of the sea. Don't mind if I do. This is one of the last rooms Alex Jordan envisioned. Sadly, he passed away in 1989 before this was completed, but it still got completed in 1990. We see this Kraken attacking a whale in this glass case. Oh, I hope you're getting ready. We have more. Uphill. We're going uphill, but we have more marine stuff here in this area. 
shipping stuff, and then we enter this grand room. I'm gonna have Joy look forward for uh, for size reference. For the grandeur of this, you saw the little octopus attaching attacking the whale. This one goes up multi level, multi level. have like knot boards, ships, and this is not just here. It continues up around the whale. You literally circle on paths going three stories high of nautical displays. Found another crushed penny area. World's largest sea creature. We do collect crushed pennies. One day I'm gonna frame all my crushed pennies and they're gonna need a room this big to fill it up. Tiny guy, all the way up there. We even have some Ringo Starr and the Beatles. The Octopus's Garden. That octopus really shreds. I really collected anything. We have a display of spittoons and cigarette lighters. The future is today, kids. I'm photographing cameras with a phone. A whole case of scrimshaw. This collection of authentic and reproduction scrimshaw was gathered by Alex Jordan in 1970. So not all of this is real, but some is. And they don't say, because that's the whole point of this spot. It isn't like a museum. It's supposed to leave it up to imagination. I think this angle is going to be the best view to get how wide this whale actually is. We have waves coming out from the ceiling, crashing down on him. I've been going up the paths, down the paths, just looking at the size of this whale. My favorite room in any museum is the undersea room in Museum of Natural History in New York City. They have a blue whale hanging from the ceiling. This fantasy dreamed up whale has to be about five times the size of that blue whale. I always thought that was massive. I, I, I thought this would be around the same size. I was wrong. It has to be one of the greatest Titanic replicas ever. You could see the ship just making impact with the iceberg. Oh, it's a monstro. Don't eat my boy. My boy, my boy, Pinocchio, run. Most museums have like one, maybe two of these machines that play all the instruments by themselves. We're coming to room after room, giant ones, little ones. It's like we leave uh, the nautical theme. And then we have some crazy carriages, wagons. The whale was epic, right? Kind of was. I come in, and now we're in a room with hot air balloons. Looking down over another town, even the people sleeping on the moon above obscene amounts of Burma shave signs. Tell Pinocchio I found his family. Yes. But they have strings to hold them down. No. Dawn, you got some nice donuts there. About Rube Goldberg, of pertaining to, or being a contrivance that brings about by complexity means what apparently could be accomplished simply. So we see the man strums his violin, pulling the string that's on the monkey, 
coming down to the bird, the bird makes the other bird play, comes down to punching the chicken, lays an egg, lights on the power, chemical reactions, see it's boiling, turns on the power, sends electric charge down, kicks the pig, the pig pulls the string, and the string lights up, that the tour continues. Ashes to ashes, forest to dust, keep Wisconsin green, or well, all go bust. Burma shave. It really is like a town joy. We have the camera shop. Okay, you can't get anything. But there actually is an ice cream shop here. We're gonna see how desirable I am. Oh. Vibrates. I was not expecting it to vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. Oh. oh. <laughs> Perkins camera shot. House on the Rock. You should have me come out here and work for like two weeks at a year. And I could sit in this camera shop and educate people about all these cameras. It's supposed to be a train that's a hearse. It's the first ever hearse train I've ever seen in my life. That Dalmatian's trying to drive a 57 Chevy Bel Air. That's crazy. Dalmatians can't drive cars. And his spots are music notes. I scream, you scream, then the polar bear hears us and eats us. Watch your step, it looks like you can sit on it. Oh. Just watch your step, Joy. Doesn't say don't sit. No, it doesn't say don't sit. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, <laughs> with Joy sitting on his very back. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a fishing rod when you got a cat? <laughs> you could sit on a wolf. And a giant cat too. Another Esmeralda. Uncle Sam telling you if you're a cold fish, patriotic. It was nice and part, but there's also a pizza shop. We had to stop and recharge quickly. House on the Rock Pizza. And I wanted to stop because I also wanted to take in all these magic posters. On a scale of one to eight pizza slices, eight being a full pie, that's the best. This gets about a six. It's probably a five, but because of the location we're in, I bump it up to a six. We're refueled, continuing on. Time for some more museum. The House of Rock, music of yesterdays. We're gonna make our way into the back of the streets yesterdays. Now we're seeing the magnificent machines of a magnificent era. Absent House Piano. From the Absent House of New Orleans. We have the graveyard scene. We have the old drunkard, the Pope coming out. Here lies the young woman from Hyde, from Ride. We ate some green apples and died. Oh, oh, we have some ghosts coming up.
that house of ill report. The house, the rising sun. We have Miss Kitty's boudoir. You see someone left their robe on Miss Kitty's bed. A silk purse, look at this. Beautiful espresso machine. Katy Perry, if you're looking for it, it's here at the House of the Rock. They're not even hiding it. They labeled it for you. The Peacock from New Orleans. They have everything here. Now we're up to the butterfly collection and moths with some seashells and some fake bonds that's made out of seashells. And now we have plates. Norman Rockwell Christmas plates. The Mikado. It's more of an Asian feel. And the bear, the monkey and the bear. Like so, put a coin in. Listen, the monkey and the bear. Mm. You can see see the monkey's hand moving. Old dentist, is it safe? Is it safe? <laughs> Made it to the dairy, Kennedy's dairy. See the. Milk wagon. Where's your owner? Soldier centaur with the lady centaur. We are making our way to the red room. Oh my goodness. Playing the nutcracker sweet. take of joy going in to see the world's largest carousel. She loves carousels. We're also passing some doll houses. We're gonna first see Joy's reaction of the world's largest carousel. Then we are gonna do a 180 and look at said carousel. Shark Centaur, Unicorn Hippocampuses, Walruses, Ladies. If I can't have that, can I have some of those? Yeah, and that's not the only horse. Along all the walls are tons of horses. You might be looking at this largest carousel in history and wondering, could you tell me some facts about it? I can! There's over 20,000 lights, 182 chandeliers, 269 animals are on this carousel. It's 80 feet wide, 35 feet tall, weighs 36 tons. It premiered on Easter of 1981. Those animals are among the most unique collected from all over the world. Note, there is not one single regular horse on the carousel. Instead, they put all the horses on the walls. And I don't mean some of the horses, I mean I mean all the horses. Two-headed unicorn hippocampus. Knights. Griffins. 
a giant bulldog, unicorns pulling a carriage, double lines and armors. I don't know what this thing is. It'd be what I was riding. A dapper gentleman, goats pulling carriages, so many centaurs, tigers and bulls. My favorite. Tiger guy in armor. You want some reindeers pulling a sleigh too? We got them too. My, my favorite's coming around, coming around. I thought it was a bro, he's a crow. I thought it was a shark. So the question, Donkey, is do you like House on the Rock? I do too. Let's keep going. Here's some creature. We're going down his gullet to enter the third part. We are surrounded by five different organs. Look at it, up on the ceiling. Another organ, organs, organs. There are tons of stills. And one of the largest chandeliers in the country. We've been following the path up. We're able to look down now at all of the, the top of the chandelier, more organs. Part three, we actually have to head outside and walk down a trail to Inspiration Point. If this spot hasn't been inspiring you to live your dreams, to create magical, wonderful worlds, I don't know what this, but the trail to Inspiration Point is actually a path to view the infinity room we were standing in, in part one, in the original house. So if we follow this rock to the top, and look up through the trees, you can actually see the infinity room coming off that rock and nothing is holding it up. And if you're thinking, is one carousel really enough? No, 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 they have another. This is the doll carousel. Three-story Three doll carousel. Lions and elephants. I guess dolls are okay riding horses. We have horses on this one. There's a lot of dolls on the carousel. I guess they need some houses to live in. The doll house collection. To live in or as a doll house? Uh, as a doll house is first. Okay. And I can always shrink Still looking around, my pocket's still jingling. So if you don't know what's happening, we're actually listening to Wax Cylinder Records. They have them all wrapping around, and you can see the different cylinders. See, Edison Records. Do I want this one not as a dollhouse but as a house? I don't blame her. <laughs> I want that one too with all that stained glass. Oh yeah. Send in the clowns. But not that one, he's a little creepy. You can take the boy out of the circus, but you can't take the circus out of the boy. We've got to my section. We have a sideshow banner for Frog Girl and all these circus carvings, women standing on horses, monkeys. Oh, I found the circus. A miniature circus. I love circuses. We got clowns in bathtubs. We have a miniature circus. See the circus main entrance? And we have the sideshow. Continuous performance. Hagenbox Wallace Circus. Come see the fire eater. The tattooed lady. The Ballyhoo dancers. The Sultan. 
stab his mistress 26 times with swords, only for her to still be alive. Oh, Tommy Tun's the fat man. We have it all inside. And then you literally enter the circus to see the multi-ring circus. The women hanging from their teeth. You need the lion tamers. Hold on, let me, let me see this. We have one, two, three, four, five. I remember Ringling Brothers Barn and Bailey Circus, the three ring circus. I've never seen a five ring circus before. Miniature circus. Oh wait, what's over there? Another miniature circus. Oh, this, this is for me. It definitely has more of a sideshow feel. Yep, yep, it's not another miniature circus. It's a second sideshow. We have all the different acts. Ballyhoo dancers, acro balancers. We have the crews cooking for the people, the dining department for all the staff, the train that pulls the whole car, the tent where we're storing the elephants. Joy's like, circuses, send in the clowns already. Can we get to the next room? Was that you just said behind my back? What was that you said behind my back? <laughs> my own clown. Where is he? Right there. Now he's behind me. He's, she's talking about me. She's calling me her own clown. I take that as a compliment. What I find most interesting about the circus is, if we're looking at the train, it's been the same circus we've been looking at. Hanbakwala Circus, the cars. So you would think this is like a bunch of collections of different circuses. No, this is, this is one circus. She was like, oh no. I know he loves circus. Row after row after row. We have carnivals and circuses now. But at the end of this circus, we actually have a miniature roller coaster. We can see the train on the track. There's no token, but there's a red button. The lions have trained this man to move his hand up and down holding this leather cat toy. Hey Joe, did you notice the other hand? No, why? Look. They had lunch. Oh, they did take a little nibble. A tunnel of automaton. Dwarf wedding chapels. The automatons go on and on and on. In this case of all them, if Joy pushed the button, look, we have the train going, moving along. We have a bird wedding happening. He's asking, do you hoot to take this hoot? They're trying to wake up Rip Van Winkle. A mini bird carnival. See you after the honeymoon. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. Bum, bada, bum, bum. Bum, bum. The bakers. <laughs> Getting the wedding cake ready. The woman's actually hemming the wedding dress on top of the cake. My favorite part, of Alice in Wonderland, the walrus and the carpenter. No, 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 they're not the Beatles, they're the love bug band. They're diving for the pearls. I didn't know that's how it works. And now we have the biggest band of them all. Here goes nothing. Joy, I just tuned up the band. Ready, aim, fire. We have more guns, but this one's the best. Can I get a gun? 
Yep, yeah, there is a gun in the leg. I get that, huh? He's got two. He can give me one. I guess he could. We made a hallway with Asian art. Look at this beautifully carved tusk. I mean, the hallway is just going, going, go. We have some epic battle scenes in the armor room. And this night, I think he's done with battle. He's laying down the sword because they're taking down the massive elephant. With meandering around, we have made our way to the second floor. Now we're on the second floor, coming back out near the doll carousel. Now, you remember I said, what's better than one carousel? And the answer was two carousels. I'm gonna ask you a question at home. What do you think is better than one doll carousel? That's right, it is two doll carousels. That's not a mirror, this is another doll carousel. And this one, we added one more story. This is a four story doll carousel. More walls of carousel horses. We come out now above the grand carousel. This thing is massive. Sadly, we're not allowed to ride it, but it is still amazing to see. Joy's taking her time in the carousel room. You want to tell the people why you're taking your time? Shopping list. She had to make her shopping list. Yeah. We get to walk through the Japanese garden on the way to the gift shop. And there's more displays near the bathrooms. Look at this. Beatles phones, we have the phone collections. Ooh, Lego phones. I guess phones are the themes to the outside bathrooms. They're all out of TP. Let me pick up one of these phones and let them know. <laughs> we got here at 1230, spot closed at five and we had to race through that. You really need all day. This is an all day attraction. But thankfully, the gift shop is still open. Souvenirs achieved. Postcards, t-shirt, and more. We can't show you the and more. There might be gifts for some friends and family. So there you have it, House on the Rock. What did you think, Joy? It was overwhelming, but in a good way. Like, there was just a lot of everything, and a, a lot to see. <laughs> Definitely. Don't get here late. Get here when it opens. Stay till it closes. Stay, You're gonna need that yeah, time. Yeah, definitely get here as early to when it opens as you can. Would you say it is one of the best roadside attractions you have ever been to? It is really up there. It definitely has to be like one of the top five. Okay. If, you know, like definitely up there. Yeah, I agree. Definitely one of the top five. I have to think about it. If it wins the best, it might win the best roadside attraction. It's just amazing. I'm the just going to keep that it in my top five. there was stuff to look at. <laughs> then there was fun push buttons, miniatures of everything, collections of everything, the way things were displayed, things that were collections but actually were art to look like collections. Just the whole blend creating this environment you walk through was, was amazing. Highly, highly recommend. And this isn't like if you're passing by or you're near. No, make a trip. Yeah, make a trip to come to House of the Rock. I think we call it. I think so. The House on the Rock. Been there, done that. Remember folks, safe travels. Good eats. And live life. Janice didn't apply her perfume. She drank it and got drunk and died. Rosebud.